Hey guys, it's Scott here from Zell My God Play, and so I'll be playing with Velvo Games' PS3 to release Baboon. Now, in case you aren't aware, Baboon is basically a puzzle game uh, for the PlayStation Vita, whereby you've got to collect all the bananas and help the little uh, monkey get from the bottom of the level to the top within the fastest time possible. So I'll just go through a few levels at the start of the game, so you've got a rough idea of what to expect. But it is now available on the PlayStation Network Store for about $7.99 or €9.95. Euros. Pretty little uh, fun game actually, but it is a bit weird and unique, you know, because it's not the usual puzzle game you might have come across. But I'll just go through a few levels, like I mentioned, and uh, show you what's in store. So we'll start off with a new game. Just so you can see some of the dialogue and so forth. So in case you weren't listening or reading, uh, should I say, the idea of the game is, or the story of the game is, that um, you'll live in Bananaville and you, the baboon named Fumbelina or Tumbley, however you'd like to pronounce it, um, has got to go off onto this little adventure to collect all the bananas that are now floating in the sky, thanks to the Captain Pirate Baboon. So it's a pretty uh, unique storyline, so to speak, so to sum it up, You've got to retrieve all the bananas and stop the evil pirate baboon escaping with them all off. And before you actually get to a level, you can move around on this little, uh, what I think is a bit like Mario Bros. Or New Super Mario Bros. where you get to move around, go into huts, speak to more characters. Such as this guy. Before you actually get to a level. And speaking to these characters will give you um, additional information about the story or about other characters as well as hints and tips about what to actually do in the level themselves. So like this guy here is telling us how to um, use the bombs that were being given to further up, to go further up the actual level. So this is like what the main gameplay menu looks like. And as you can see here by this help message, it says to clear the stage and obtain the first medal, you must reach the goal at the top. And what you may notice on the left hand side of the screen is the banana option, whereby it says 0 out of 116 bananas. Now, what this counter here is saying is that you've got to collect uh, all 116 bananas in this particular level. Now, basically there's three different medals you can collect. The first level is simply by, uh, the sim first medal is simply by completing the level. The second medal is achieved by collecting all of the bananas and then the third level, or medal should I say, is by uh, completing the level in the fastest time possible. So later on you'll get a challenge whereby you've got to complete this level within 20 seconds which actually sounds a lot easier than it is. But nevertheless, let's get on with it. So there's also a timer underneath where the bananas are and it's saying here that we've got 110 seconds to get to the top. You place a banana by pressing the X button 
at which point you'll get this gauge on the right hand side of the screen going up and down with the same gauge going up and down on the screen as well as. You can move it left and right by using the analog stick or by using... Oh no, you can't use the body using the touch screen. I thought you would. Uh, by using the analog stick itself. And basically the idea is, is that you'd aim it and fire yourself up again. So it seems pretty simple. But you do have to wait for the uh, cursor to pop down or else you won't make it. So I'm just going to try and quickly get to the top. And if you're next to a wall, as you just saw there, I thought I was going to go left, but actually I went right because the wall was too close. And this particular message here is just saying about the second medal, which I mentioned earlier, whereby you've got to collect all the bananas in the level. But I'm just going to progress through and go straight up to the top, as we haven't got much time left. So it's a really weird game because um, you're timed and you feel like you're in a rush, which you are, to get to the top of the level. But you've got to patiently wait for the cursor to go back up and down as you can't actually control it. So you think you may be really good and you know, vice versa. But you've got to wait for the cursor to uh, appear on the screen before you can do anything. So that's the first level out of the way. I mean, might go back and let's go back and do it again. See if we can get all the bananas this time. And as you may know, it's on this particular stage when I've replayed it again. The cursor on the banana, or on the banana, the boo, the boon, should I say, has uh, disappeared. So now I've got to use my own judgment about where I'll actually land which makes things a lot more difficult. One of those games where it can be quite tricky to pick up, but then uh, once you once you know what you're doing, it can actually be quite simple. So before I started doing this video, I had a bit of practice just to get used to the controls. But even then, I still can fail. So I've got 40 seconds to do the rest of the level. Will I do it? Probably not. Ah, oh, so close. But we'll leave that for the time being. And we'll move straight on to the next level. Which, yet again, is pretty much the same thing, except this time we have to avoid uh, these red spike things just here. Because if you run into them, Game over. And in case you're wondering, that was intentional just to show you what happens. Makes me wonder if the uh, development team Revelio don't like monkeys. Now, they're quite happy uh, having bombs as your main weapon of choice to fire your monkey into the air. And that wasn't intentional. But as you can just see, when you do get hit and die, you have to restart from the very beginning of the level, which uh, 
does make the game even more difficult than it already is. And I'm not going to bother trying to get them bananas because I know I'll just fail. So I'll go for these instead. Well, that was close. Uh... Oh well, it wouldn't be a fun video about some death now, would it? So yeah, it might look like a simple game, which I guess in reality it is, but it's a lot more difficult than it lets on to be. I guess once you've got used to the controls, it will be a lot easier. But as you can see just there, one tiny wrong move and you're through. So when I played this earlier, uh, without the camera being on, I managed to get to the third level, I believe it was. Uh, at which point I was completely stuck. And by the look of this video, I'll only get to the second stage, but you know, hopefully I can rectify this with this current playthrough. Maybe not. Well, as they usually say, if you don't at first succeed, try and try again, and then eventually you will. So, on that particular one, I ended up uh, doing both the actual uh, level and the third challenge medal, which I'm not sure what that might have been. Judging from the top, it says use only 16 bombs or less, so uh, that's pretty cool. And then once you got past those two levels, you then... Uh, can go along to talk to other characters, so we'll just go and see what this is all about. Not a lot, so that'll probably come later. Let's speak to this guy. So as you can see, there's lots of colourful characters to speak to in and around the actual uh, gameplay levels. But let's see if we can get past this um, third level of the game. And as you may have noticed, the cursor has come back on the screen for whatever reason. So on this level, not only have we got the actual um, red spike things, we've also got bees to avoid. You know, just in case our life wasn't difficult enough already. And straight into a bee. And as I just said there on that little uh, tutorial piece of information, you can use the right analog stick to scroll up and down to uh, view the entire length of the map. Basically a really cool idea of, of planning your move, which uh, is something I'm not doing at the moment and it's something I should be doing. 
Well, that ain't no well, is it? Ooh, that was lucky. But that wasn't. Let's give it one more go. And there we go, we've reached the third, or the end of the third level. And what I didn't mention beforehand is when you get towards the end of each level, uh, you get a cleared screen, as you can see here. And it gives you a breakdown of all the bananas you've achieved, the score of your first run, any time bonus, and perfect bonus, which all adds up at the end to give you a total. You've got an information screen of your medal there, which you'll get, and they'll bring up a total list of bananas. And on the bottom hand screen, or left hand screen should I say, it brings up a total amount of medals and bananas you have earned. So, in this first environment, uh, which is Bananaville, there's 500 bananas to collect, and then as always if you get all 500, some uh, bonuses will unlock. Go and speak to this person in here. So it might just be a simple, or challenging but simple, uh, puzzle game of placing bombs to get your monkey up the hill, but uh, it has got a bit of a nice story to it, and an incentive to keep on playing as you want to find out what's actually happening with the characters. And it's a game that you don't need to use the touchscreens for, so you can easily play it as I am here, you know, just with the uh, D-pad and analog sticks which is something I always like in a PS Vita game is you never know if you're gonna have time to use the uh, touch screen as it can be a bit uncomfortable on long trips so yeah that's just a uh, quick playthrough of what you can expect from uh, Baboom which is now available to download from the PlayStation Network Store and it's exclusive for the PS Vita.